Okay, here we go, chapter four. Um, how about a reader? How about Jesse E? Go ahead. Yes. Right, so here's some examples, right? 75% chance of snow, one in some giant number chance of winning the lottery, half chance of getting heads on a coin flip. Those are all probability terms or times we've seen probability that we're familiar with, right? So this is the notes for chapter four. If you're not filling them in, then you're going to be behind. Um, Eduardo, go ahead. Uh, sample spaces and probability. A probability experiment is a chance process that leads to well-defined results called outcomes. Uh, flip a coin or two coins. Right, so that could be one experiment could be flipping a coin. Another experiment could be flipping two coins. Keep going. An outcome is the result of a single trial of a probability experiment, such as uh, heads or Right, so if, if my experiment is flipping a coin, then getting a heads would be one possible outcome. If my experiment was flipping two coins, then getting heads tails would be one possible outcome. Thank you. Um, Brandon, go ahead. Read the first one. Right, so the, the outcomes, possible outcomes, if I toss a coin, heads and tails. Read the next one. Yep, if you roll a die, what could, I, what could possibly happen if you roll a die? You can get every, every, every member a die, a dice. What happens if you roll one? What could you get? Yep, a one, two, three, four, five, or six. This is a list of all possible outcomes if you roll the die. Keep going. Right? I could get true or false. Those are the possible outcomes. Keep going. Right. If you toss two coins, you could get heads on the first, heads on the second, heads on the first, tails on the second, tails on the first, heads on the second, and tails on both of them. Those are the possible, there's four outcomes. These are not the same. Heads, tails, and tails, heads are not the same. Okay, so this means heads on the first, tails on the second, tails on the first, heads on the second. And you determine, you can decide which one you want to be first or second. It doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. Um, so someone brought up in my other class that order kind of matters. With these, yes, with probability, the order matters. It matters whether heads, tails is different than tails, heads. They are different outcomes. Here's an example for rolling a dice. Two dice. So if I roll the first die, dice, the first die, I could get a one, two, three, four, five, six. Say I got a four on the first roll, on the first dice. Then on the second die, I could get a one, two, three, four, five, or six on the second one. But the first one's a four, right? So these are the set of all possible outcomes from rolling Two dice. Um, let's do an example together for making a tree. We're going to do gender of children. So um, we're going to find the sample space, in other words, all possible outcomes for the gender of children if a family has three kids. If a family has three children, what are the possible outcomes? B for boy, G for girl. What's the first decision I make? Is it going to be whether I have one child or two child, ch children or three children? Is that their decision? No, they're going to have all three children. So what's the first decision? What's the first decision that's made? The first, Gen the first kid. Yeah, gender, boy or girl. So the first kid, is, is the first kid a boy or a girl? Start from one point and branch out. It's a tree. So from this branch, a boy or a girl? 
That's the first kid. Okay, say the first kid was a boy. That means I've traveled along this branch and I'm standing, sitting here at the end of this branch. What happens next? Yep. Have another kid, boy or girl. That's my second child. It is, it comes off of this spot here. What if I had a girl? What could happen? If I had a, a girl first, then what could happen? Same thing, boy or girl, right? And then, what's the last thing that happens? If I had a boy, then a boy, then what? Yeah, it could be a boy or a girl. The third child, the last child. So any, F, F of any one of these possibilities, I can have a boy or a girl. Please note a couple things. These are not just floating in space. It's not just, right? It's not like I have something sitting here just floating out here in space with nothing it's attached to. It's attached, I can only come off of the end of a branch. At the end of this branch, I could branch off to two new branches or three, you know, other new branches. Off of, off of this one, I can have a new set of branches off of there. Right? But it has to come from an end. It's a tree, kind of growing sideways. Um, okay, so let's take a look at my tree and how I got there. So how did I get to this spot right here? If I trace along the pathway, I got there from boy, then girl, then boy. Everybody see that one? So that's this outcome, boy, girl, boy. How did I get here? I trace back along this one. This came from girl, boy, boy. Right, so first I had a girl, then I had a boy, then I had a boy. So these are all the outcomes that you get to from the end of each of these branches. These are all the possible outcomes. So write them in, that's my sample space. These are my sample spaces. Write them all, find them from your tree. Try not to copy them, try to find them off the tree if you can. find them all. Next we're talking about events. So this is the next definition I think on your page. An event is a specific outcome or set of outcomes. Who's ever flown on a plane? And they say, in the event of an emergency, and the thing will drop out. That means that if the outcome of this flight is that we run into trouble and we lose pressure or something happens, right? Then this whole thing's gonna drop down, right? Um, now luckily, the, what's the probability that you have an emergency in a flight? Really tiny, right? It was, it's, if it was 50-50, people would never fly. <laughs> so really small chance. Um, so an event is a specific outcome or set of outcomes. So rolling a dice, an event might be getting an even number, right? So that'd be getting a two, four, or six out of a set of outcomes. Um, Okay, good deal. So now we're going to talk about probabilities itself. And the key thing here is when all events are equally likely. That's a special case. If I try out for the 49ers, um, only two things can happen. I make the team or I don't make the team, right? I would 
with me here? I mean, I don't make the team and I break a bunch of bones, but whatever. So I make a team or I don't make a team. So does that mean there's a 50% chance I'm going to make the 49ers if I try out for the 49ers? No. Absolutely not. No freaking way am I going to make the 49ers. It's not going to happen. I mean, even when they're really bad, there was no way I would make the 49ers, right? Because those two events are not equally likely. The probability I make it is really tiny. The probability I don't is really big. Same thing with a lottery ticket. I buy a lottery ticket. Either I win or I don't win. Does that mean there's a 50% chance you're going to win the lottery? No, because there's a really small chance you're going to win and a really big chance you're not going to win. Right? So this is only when all events are equally likely. That only in those situations. Make sure you're kind of aware of that, that caveat there. Um, the probability is the number of ways the event can occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. That's written on your, on your sheet right there. I like to shorthand it with this. Number of successes over number of outcomes. And sometimes I, I just put like this. Number of success over number of outcomes. You guys have a little line there that I've written on that on your on your um, handout just for this very moment, so you can write that in right there, right? Blank over blank, fill in the blanks. Um, so let's let me ask you this: uh, What's the probability of getting a three when you roll a dice? Note it's written. Probability, capital P means probability, and then parentheses of. When you have this capital P next to parentheses, that means probability of. Always, with the capital P and the parentheses. Probably of what? Rolling a three. Um, how many successes on a dice? How many sides are there? Six. So that's my total possible outcomes. How many of those have a three on them? One. So one success out of six outcomes, so my probability of rolling a three is, nobody knows this besides two people? No. Vocal, this is time to say something. Probability of rolling a three is? One, one, six. one out of six, one six. I have a bag. It has five blue marbles, three red marbles, four green marbles. What's the probability I draw a red marble? So here, a red marble would be a success Right, I'm trying to draw a red marble. How many successes do I have? Three. Three. How many possible outcomes? Twelve. Twelve. So my probability of drawing a red marble is? Three out of, let's keep it simple for everybody. Three out of twelve. Good? Only 25%. We'll, we'll keep it easy. All right. So family has three kids. Using a sample space, find the probability that exactly two, not more than two, not at least two, exactly two are girls. Um, take 10 seconds on your own, go. Now consult with your, with your neighbors. Two girls? No. Next one? No. This one? No. How about this one? No. How about that one? No. Not exactly two. How about this one? Yes. This one? Yes. This one? Yes. So three out of eight. Good? All right. Um, here it is prettier. Um, so just take a minute, maybe 70 seconds with your neighbors and find these. Go.
Okay, so what's the probability you roll a die and get a four? What's the probability that you get a consonant? There are 26 letters in the alphabet. Five out of 26. Five out of 26. What's the probability that you pick a, a J month? There's three of them out of 12. What's the probability you pick a weekday? Five out of seven. Okay, good. Uh, next, draw a, prob a probability tree for flipping a coin two times. Not three, two. You're just flipping it twice. Flipping a coin two times. Draw a probability tree. And then find your um, sample space and answer those questions. Mm -hmm. I used to have like solid colored dogs, and they're like, well, what about Dalmatians? What about Dalmatians? I'm like, okay, fine. Solid colored dogs. Um, so, so, okay. I know, they're cute, huh? Um, all right. Um, so, here, let's make sure we're clear. So, we have five male chocolate labs. Everybody on board with that? Okay. Um, answer the first seven questions with your neighbors. I'll give you guys three minutes. Mm -hmm. 